Hey everyone, uh, we're looking at a 2008 Altima and we bought it with high mileage uh, for our teenager and uh, are having some problems actually with uh, hesitation and so we were going through the steps to fix this car to, to determine what the problem was and wanted to show you what we found. So there's a great video on YouTube and I'll uh, link to it below and also this is the video. It's called Three Most Likely Causes of Hesitation for a 2011 uh, Altima and we're going through the, the steps to fix that and basically the, the summary of that just real quick is uh, definitely check the air filter um, which you'll see right here um, you just undo those clips and uh, put in a new air filter our air filter was definitely dirty the second one is to look at this uh, little sensor right here you, you pop it out with the two screws and get some mass airflow sensor spray. You spray out that sensor and make sure you use that kind of product. It's uh, better than just a, a throttle cleaner. Um, basically, you spray that out, let it dry out, and replace it. That can uh, be a problem with hesitation on an Altima. And the third thing is, is you get into um, this uh, throttle body, um, uh, the throttle body, and, and basically remove uh, the throttle body, which is this metal piece in line with the hose and getting into the engine. Um, the, the flapper valves inside there, if you spray those off with the, the mass airflow uh, sensor spray, which we used right here, which you can get at you know, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever, um, pull that out and basically spray it off and clean it out. Um, that you know, can be sticking and causing problems. Um, again, the video that I, that I mentioned before, it has an excellent demonstration of how to do it. And I was going through that process of doing that and realized there's a fourth cause uh, uh, that, that will cause the hesitation that wasn't mentioned there, but that we discovered in the process of going through this fix. And it's right here. It's the hose. Um, this hose right now, I didn't think it would be much of a problem. It doesn't move very much. It doesn't seem like, but, uh, it is absolutely trashed. Um, if you go in here, you can see the, the hose is cracked right there. It's cracked right here. It's wide open. Uh, and that's obviously a disaster in the making. And so, uh, we're going to replace that. And, uh, obviously that will be a major change to the whole process. And we've even taken this to a mechanic here just recently. And they definitely, you know, they looked at the, the engine light was coming on and it's still coming on. They cleaned this out. They had actually said they found a leaf in it. And I was trying to, I was scratching my head thinking like, why would a leaf be showing up behind the air filter? Well, I think it kind of somehow got from there to here somehow, and uh, there shouldn't be dirt in there at all, but uh, it was getting some dirt. They were, they, but they couldn't figure out or diagnose what the problem was. Well, when I was just playing with the hose, my finger went right through the this hose, and so there's this hose or this crack, and there's this crack, and um, that's going to be obviously be a problem. You can see this uh, crack right there, hopefully, in the video. Um, but that's going to be the big problem. And so if you go online, if you have a, you know, early, uh, like ours is a 2008, I goes, it goes through the early teen years of the Altima. There are two part numbers. There's a 696085. Look for that on Amazon. Um, and they're about like, you know, 20 bucks to get, to get one of these replaced. Um, and for our model, we have a six cylinder. So it says 6960. Three nine, um, and so those are the two parts: six nine six zero uh, eight five eight five. I believe is the the uh, four cylinder. Three nine zero six nine six zero three nine is the six cylinder part. So um, Amazon has it. It seems like most of the big uh, chain auto part shops do not carry the six cylinder model. We had to kind of hunt around and find it. Um, they were up to. 140 bucks, I think, uh, from the big stores to get the six-cylinder part. But again, if you go on Amazon or eBay, uh, they're about 20 and they look great. And I think they're the exact same part. So make sure you you, you consider Amazon on this one. It's a little less convenient because you got to wait a day usually to get it. But uh, to get that fixed, not a hard part to really fix. Just a few clamps to remove and put it all back together, and, and you're good to go. So anyway, um, I hope this helped uh, some people. Maybe consider another alternative issue with hesitation in an Altima. And if this video helped you at all for diagnosing your problem, really appreciate a thumbs up and a su subscribe button. That's the best way to thank me. Thanks. Bye.